Good morning everyone. I hope you guys are doing well and having a good week over wherever you're at. I want to uh, make good on my promise as far as doing a video specifically on router bits. If you guys have been watching for the last couple weeks, you know that we actually have changed the manufacture of router bits that we're now selling and promoting and using. And we've gone from using mostly white side bits to all Amana bits. And I want to go through, as I promised, I want to go through bit by bit and, and give you uh, comparisons and talk about um, why we actually switched. So if we'll come down here, I'll take them one at a time. I've got them all set out. Now the one I don't have, uh, I've, they're on the way, but uh, this is the 45 degree chamfer bit. Now the difference on this one, you all right? You can scoot them in a little bit. You want bit me to bring them in closer? closer? Them, yeah. All right. You should have said that before we started filming. You knew what was sitting here. Me. I didn't need to ask you. you well, I actually, I guess I did need to ask you. Anywho, before I was so rudely interrupted, this one, uh, this 45 degree chamfer bit, uh, this is the white side bit, but the Amana bit is, it does exactly the same thing, but it's, we like it better because it's got a 3 8 bearing, whereas this is a half inch bearing. And dad talked about this a couple times on the videos, on the Friday Night Live videos, that we like it better because the 3 8 bearing will fit in tighter spots. So uh, we think it's a, a better use. A better bit as far as that goes so now we're gonna move on so that's that I'll have one of those eventually and show you guys we're moving on to the profile bit huh I thought you had one the other night. I've somehow lost it we haven't ordered a, a bunch of them yet so this is the profile bit this is the white side and this is the Amana Can you hold them up, maybe a little? yes they are virtually identical that you know it, unless you got down with a microscope you wouldn't tell the difference between these two they are 15 degrees down the side and a 45 degree at the tip um, I've used them both I love them both there and and honestly if one was mixed up with the other I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference so that really is uh, and many of these bits really you're not even going to notice the difference between one to the other so um, the one thing that I did want to mention is I love these new, new tubes, this new packaging. I think it protects them better, less likely for these red caps to come off, and sometimes these red caps will loosen. Um, sometimes they'll get uh, on the big tubes. Sometimes these will get kind of broken. So I really think it's an upgrade as far as packaging goes. I really love these tubes. So anyway, that's the profile bit. Onto the spiral bit. So here is the white side spiral bit. This one you'll notice it is a little bit different. And this is the Amana. Again, can you? Just clashed them into each other, which is not a good thing to do. Now, Ooh. you'll notice Back what? The other way. Not your whole hand. Just tip. You'll notice that they look a little bit different. This one is more of a spiral than this one. Uh, they will cut virtually exactly the same. You won't even notice the difference when they're cutting, but being as this one is a higher spiral, it will actually pull the chips out of the groove a little bit faster than this one would. So I, we think that's a better thing. So this, again, to, to our to our way of thinking, this is a better bit. By the way, the prices are all exactly the same. We're, we were able to work a deal with Amana, uh, which they don't do really for anybody else, but they worked us a deal where we could get them at virtually the same price we were getting the white side bits, which means we didn't have to uh, raise the price on you guys as of yet. I don't know if that how long that'll be, but as of yet, the prices are all exactly the same. So. We like this one better because it'll pull the chip out a little bit better. But as far as a, a smooth cut, they're both the same. Again, white side bits are great bits. I have got nothing against them at all. It's just I think for us, 
Um, for what we're doing, I think the Amana is a better choice. 90 degree bit. So now here, again, virtually the same. This is the white side. Actually, I should put it on that side. This is the white side bit. And this is the Amana bit. Again, virtually the same. You won't see hardly any difference in the two. They both cut terrific. I don't really have any problem with either one. I don't, uh, the, the Amana and the white side, uh, virtually these are almost identical. So they both are great bits. So that was kind of uh, across the board. I think you just... What? Never mind. Did I mix them up? No, I think you're right. Sorry. Yeah, this is the Amana. So across the board, uh, they're they're pretty much identical. Woo! Wow. Windy out there. We have got some wind going on outside. A, I think we just had a whirly wind. wind come through. Yeah, a twister. So the 90 degree bit, pretty much the same. Now these two are the ones where there's a drastic difference. This is what I really want to go over. Let's uh, set the 60 apart. So here is the carving liner bit. And here is the SC50. Now, if you go on and you look at the, if you go on and you look, this is an 18 degree bit. This one, uh, the SC50 is 22 degree. The carving, the Amana carving liner is 18 degree. What that means to you is that it cuts a skinnier line if you go deep enough. Now, I have checked with Whiteside, excuse me, I've checked with Amana, and they say that uh, their recommendation is not to go real deep with this bit. However, I have cut pretty deep with it, and I'm confident that uh, this bit, if you look at the and you, you probably won't be able to see this, but right at the tip, it's got a, just a tad bit of a flat, which actually I like. The, the chances of breaking it are even less because it's got a little bit of a flat. It's only 18 you, degrees. Something behind it, you got a lot of yeah. black, maybe a white. Or... Uh, maybe this pad. Yeah, that might help. So this one on your uh, left, this one is 18 degree carving liner. This is a SC50, which is 22 degree. I have carved with both of them, uh, and I've tested that, uh, the Amana, and in my opinion, it cuts way better. This is a way better cutting bit than the SC50, in my opinion. You can try it for yourself, but it cuts, I would say, twice as good. And that's, you know, that, that goes some. But that's always been one of the issues that I've had with the SC50 is it's kind of tough to pull through the board. Not with this one. And let me show you. I made a, a couple, uh, what did I do with my thing? Here, uh, there it is. Here is the test cuts that I made. This is the, let me get these in the right spot. That's the SC50. And that's the Amana carving liner. So this is what the cuts look like. That's a 16, a 16th and an 8th, which they say you really shouldn't go an 8th with the SC50. And that's a 16 and a 16 that and an 8th. They looks they look virtually identical as far as the cut goes. Uh, the difference is this just cuts much better. And as you go deeper, if you went deeper with the carving liner bit, it would stay much more narrow. I didn't do that on this test cut, but it would stay much more narrow, and I believe it's a tougher bit, and I don't think you're gonna lose the tip on it like you would the SC50. So in my opinion, the, uh, the carving liner is far superior to the, uh, the SC50. So that's, uh, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> as, <laughs> as uh, who said that? Um, Forrest Gump said that. He said, um, yeah. That's all I got to say about that. Always Something like that. Anyway, that. so that's the SC50 against the carving liner. Now, last but not least, the 60 degree. So here is the, the white side 60 degree. Okay. 
You gotta be careful. Another thing we think so about here's what I do. You won't have to worry about this going forward, but when you've got that red cap on there, no matter what you do, never grip beyond the cap. That's where you get yourself in trouble. If you grip out here and you wiggle it back and forth, that's where you're safe. I've learned that the hard way, and some of you probably have too. So there's the 60 on the, the uh, white side. Here's the Amana 60. This one I actually just did. A, now this one, again, this is now the 60, the white side 60 is three flutes. The um, Amana 60 is two flutes. The, it is built much like the 90 degree bit, which is what I really, really like about this. And what I mean by that, if you were to go too deep with this 60 degree bit, you would run out of flute. And it would start burning if you got it, uh, up into here because there's really no cutting flute. The cutting flute ends right there. But in, in comparison, and I, I, I don't know, is it showing up? In comparison, this one, you could cut way deep, clear into this shoulder, clear down to this shoulder. You could cut much deeper with it, and it, you're still using a flute. Much like the 90, it's got that step in it, and you could cut way deep with that, which you couldn't do that with this 60 degree. So in my opinion, it's, again, a superior bit. I'll show you some test cuts on that one. So... Here is the Amana 60 and the, oops, I swapped those out. There's the white side 60 and the Amana 60, and that's what the cuts look like. So pretty much the same. Um, if I were to go much deeper with that, because I'm a quarter of an inch, if I was going to go any deeper, I would really get a lot of fuzz. But I did get a little bit of a fuzz there, but I could go probably three, uh, three eighths with that and still be cutting just fine. So in my opinion, it's a better bit. Um, I, again, this one, if you look at it really, really close with, uh, with cheaters on, it's got a little bit of a flat at the bottom, but you can, or the Amana does, but you can tell when you're cutting with it, that really makes no difference at all. And actually any bit, um, and actually, that's what I found through the Amana bits that I really like. One of the things is they all have just a tad bit. You can come up to me now if you want, babe. They all have just... Huh? They all have just a little tiny bit of flat on the tip. Now, what that means to you guys, not that much. What it means to me, it means I can sharpen them that much more. Uh, that many more times. The... Um, when they have a little bit of a flat, that means that there's a little bit more flute to work with there. And it means I can sharpen them more times than I can if they come to an exact point. And the fact that they've got a little flat on them doesn't really matter in the overall scheme of things. But um, actually in the overall scheme of things, it's better because I can sharpen them more, more times. So... Um, that is it guys. This was kind of short and I wanted to really dive into what I thought of each one of these bits. I think that they're, um, they're just a superior line of bits. Now how long they will last, the carbide that they use, how long they will stay sharp, I really can't tell you because I haven't been using them for years. But I know I've been using them for about a month, month and a half now. And I don't see any difference in the quality of carbide as to how long it will hold that edge. So I don't see any problem there at all. Uh, I think from my standpoint, the packaging is better. Most of them are superior as far as what I do with them. And, you know, the service that we're getting from Amana is just phenomenal. So... That, um, that kind of spells it all out. If you guys have questions, obviously, you know how to get a hold of me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. All of these bits, are, all the new ones are already over on the website. If you go to the website under the, uh, the router bits, you will see all of the new descriptions. And if you guys have feedback, I'd love to have your feedback on them. You guys have already started probably getting some of these. Um, if you haven't, 
got uh, any of the Amana bits and you order in the future, you probably will. We are going to sell out of the, the white side bits for now. So some of them have already been changed over. So when you order, if you want, it, here's the thing. If you specifically want the new bits, make sure and put that in the notes or call us and order over the phone and we will make sure that you get the new Amana bits. If you don't do that and we still have a little bit of a stock of the white side bits, then you'll get a white side bit. Again, it's still a great bit. I just think the Amana is just a little bit better in most cases. In some cases, it's, it's, per, it's exactly the same straight across the board. Anyway, I'm out of words. It is uh, time to go. So I hope you guys have a great one and we will see you on the next video. We love you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and give us a like. And be sure and click the little bell icon to get notified when we do videos three times a week. So I'm on, oh yeah, I haven't even mentioned that. I'm on Instagram every day, make a wood sign. Anyway, love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.